This COVID-19 vaccination planning and dissemination is even more complicated than we had ever imagined. The, the logistical challenges are daunting and there will be many. There's going to be billions of people in the world wanting to get at least one of these vaccines. And scientists are working at an unprecedented race to develop a COVID-19 vaccine. And today, Pfizer announced its vaccine trials are 95% effective. And this is not the first time the United States has faced this enormous job of vaccinating the country. It was a similar situation in the fight against polio. In tonight's local original, there were obstacles and stumbles. But eventually, we eradicated the disease in America. In the late 1940s, parents kept their children isolated, travel and commerce was sometimes restricted, and quarantines became practice. This is polio gripped the country. Dr. Sally Permore is a professor of pediatrics, microbiology, and immunology at Duke University. With many cases together that mostly occurred in children, and, and these cases consisted of um, a brief illness that may be followed by um, paralysis that was often permanent. With their muscles too weak to breathe, patients survived inside iron lungs that stretched through hallways, large rooms, anywhere there was space. It would not be until the spring of 1955 that scientist Jonas Salk made a breakthrough with a vaccine. This was met with, you know, huge jubilation over the fact that there was going to be a vaccine. But what followed was really a lot of issues with getting the vaccine to everyone who wanted and needed it. There were shortages as millions of children started to be inoculated. Adults would have to wait for more to be produced. The Eisenhower administration left the job up to the pharmaceutical companies and charities. Help from the government was in short supply. And so not everyone who wanted the vaccine was able to get it at first and there were limited supplies. Then a massive setback as a tainted batch of the Salk vaccine killed several patients. Soon after that, the Sabin vaccine emerged. It was safer and taken orally. Originally tested on children in the Soviet Union, it helped eradicate the disease in America. A Cold War success story. There have been no polio cases originating in the United States since 1979. It's really a worldwide effort, but uh, really a success for um, coming together of communities, governments, philanthropy, um, and uh, scientists to, to bring that to a close. And the other great thing about today is that we have the technologies that weren't even available a decade ago to get faster results when it comes to developing these new vaccines.